After you're done with your project, it's time to clean your airbrush. This will include removal of the needle. Remove your siphon paint jar. If you only have one jar, you'll need to empty the paint, whether back into the original container, or if you've diluted it, then just discard it. Once you've emptied the paint, give the jar a couple rinses. Then take your cleaning brushes and clean the lid of the jar. Insert your brush into the straw and the top siphon tube of the lid. Rinse it out. Use a brush to loosen any paint stuck in the jar. Once the jar is clean, fill it with clean water and attach it back to the airbrush. Spray into a bucket or an airbrush cleaning pot to prevent overspray. Next we're going to back flush the airbrush. Do this by covering the tip of the airbrush and holding down the spray. This will make the siphon jar bubble, loosening pigment that's inside the airbrush. Flush and back flush the airbrush 10 to 20 times until visually clean. Make sure the jar is half full to prevent water from spraying out the top of the jar. Or without the siphon jar, you can submerge the airbrush underwater and flush and back flush it this way. Spray until there is no more pigment coming out of the brush. Fill it with clean water. Next, we'll take the needle out. Unscrew the handle from the back. Loosen your chucking nut and pull the needle out. Using some clean solution and a paper towel, wipe the needle clean. Be careful, the needle is sharp. Reinsert the needle, tighten your chucking nut, and screw your handle back on. Give it a test spray. Now we're done with the basic cleaning. If you can perform this cleaning of the airbrush like a pro, you may never even have to disassemble and perform a deep cleaning. In the event your airbrush requires a deep cleaning, this may involve complete disassembly of the airbrush and the cleaning of the individual parts of the brush. If there's paint dried in the airbrush, let the tip of the airbrush soak in the cleaner solution overnight or longer to eat away and loosen the dried paint. Note that you should never scratch, scrub, pick, or dig anything out of the airbrush, as you may ultimately damage the inside of the airbrush. Let the cleaner do its job by loosening the paint first. Now it's time to disassemble the brush. I always start from the back to the front and place them down as I go. Take off the handle, loosen the needle chucking nut, and set aside. Ease the needle out, using some clean solution and a paper towel, wipe the needle clean. Set the needle aside. Be careful, the needle's sharp. Next, unscrew the spring guide and then remove the spring. Pull out your needle chucking guide with the auxiliary lever and remove your trigger. Next, unscrew your needle cap, your nozzle cap, then your head cap. Use the provided crescent wrench if necessary.
the nozzle should fall out. If it is stuck, push it to one side and that will break it free. Now using your clean brushes, clean the inside of the nozzle. Using your needle, stick it into the nozzle and in the circular motion just kind of scrape along the tip of the nozzle. This will loosen any pigment stuck in the tip. Now with your cleaning brushes, clean the inside of the head cap, nozzle cap, and needle cap. Do the same with the inside of your airbrush body. Reassemble your airbrush. Put the nozzle on the tip, then screw your head cap on. Screw on your nozzle cap and your needle cap. Carefully put your trigger down into the trigger hole. Next slide your needle chucking guide with auxiliary lever into the airbrush. Make sure the little head of the auxiliary lever is on top. Slide your spring on. Then your spring guide. Tighten your spring guide. Then give it one half turn loose. Lightly screw on your needle chucking nut, then take your needle and insert it into the brush. Do this gently so you don't damage the needle or any components inside the brush. Tighten the needle chucking nut. Screw the handle back on, attach to air, do a test spray. Your airbrush is now good to go. To purchase any master airbrushes, airbrush products, or any U.S. art supply colors or cleaners, visit us at tcpglobal.com.